me you're, just that's your reply to what I'm going to say. No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? Fuck no, baby! That's a new one told story. Recording in progress. I'm in love with an emo girl. Is that an actual song? It's, MGK made it. You, dude, I got I a video I of know, you. I know, I sang singing it. it. I know well, the words. I don't know if it was like a fucking actual song you know, that was, like was published and produced. Song? I obviously well, know the words. I was impressing people. Who was into? Who were into that? It was fine. It was fine. Who? Was what do you mean you were impressing people that were into it? People thought it was extremely funny or whatever else. <laughs> when I was doing so, a karaoke, I, I don't know. So you're saying they just felt some type of way? It was getting a good reaction, so I kept doing it. I know the words. You well, just said you didn't know, but the I, words. Don't, I don't know if it's a real song or not. I don't know if it was like just like a trend. <laughs> Emo girl song. It's it's Willow and MGK. No, no, no. She wait. She dropped her last name. I, I guess. Yeah. She went all caps as well. Thick thigh. Here, I have, here's. That's you singing it, Kyle. But it's to, it's you at a karaoke night screaming. I screaming. I fell in love with an emo girl. But it's too. I couldn't the hear. Carry, what you were I'll saying. Set, that it's, didn't... I got I got a video of you at a karaoke bar singing uh, "Emo Girl" by MGK and Willow, all caps, no last name, and you. But it was to the beat of uh, "What's My Age Again" by Blink One Eighty Two. So you said the cadence <laughs> oh, completely it's wrong. So awesome. No, no, it wasn't. No, it was to like the karaoke. Like a mashup. Oh, uh, okay. So you're singing the. Wrong I mean, I, lyrics. I I guess you created a mashup. He was an acapella DJ earworm. <laughs> yeah. The, like the. Oh, yeah. I, I, yes. I yes. Guess. Did you see. Uh, do you guys follow Friday Beers on uh, Instagram? Uh, actually, no. Yes. They, they used Zinner uh, Time. And I. <laughs> congrats. Oh, yeah. Congrats. Congrats. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, I mean, the majority how... of people do. They have 1.6 million followers. Your brain yeah, is such a national treasure that you your your creation <laughs> ended up on Friday beers. Let's see. That, that's mm -hmm. a, yeah. They used one of mine once, I think, too. I forget what. With dinner time, was beers. I was, I was so. Friday beers was a year in front of a uh, zillion beers. Oh yeah. And so, what does that make me if I'm in front of Friday beers? I'm the original beers guy. Yeah, I guess so. You're like the you're like a Cro Magnon though. Are you trying to create some type of story around your creation of Zinner Time? <laughs> no, I just want people. I, I'm not trying to create a story. I mean, you're I guess the story. Like a, you're trying to like give like a bra like this crazy complex no, think, background story. You know what to how he's trying you to give? He's trying to give lore. Zinner Time. I'm, he's trying no, to give I lore. I think the story the story will create itself because that's how history works. Mm. Why? This guy doesn't look like KB at all. What is wrong with these Indian. cameras? Uh, that's not going to be like that in the end. You're kind of smushed. I look like a carnation. I look pink. <laughs> well, that's your that's your tone, that's brother. That's my tone? I turned it off. You know when your your mom always is telling you to watch your tone? She meant like the <laughs> color of your flesh. Because you were all... You, yeah. You almost named you Hugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was all over the spectrum. Yeah. yeah. That, people love, that's why people love Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Mm -hmm. Classic RGB. <laughs> yeah. um, what's was, today's episode? I look uh, weirdly pink, though. No, you know, you look... That's No. Somebody sent me that uh, Kratom helps settle your skin color. Really? Oh, are you off the sauce? Uh, no, I don't... That looks bad. I like a ballet slipper. Yeah, you do. Uh, all right, you do. whatever, uh, whatever. It, yeah, uh, it... a point, a point shoe. No, and turn you're it, pointing. turn it back on so I can see Nick. Yeah, we, see we haven't been able to see for the last couple minutes. Um, yeah, so it's episode two eighty three. How's my audio sounding, boys? It's good, as good as well. And, uh, oh, I had a good West Virginia moment. I forgot to tell you guys about. I was watching um, Winning Time, the you know the oh, thing about yeah. the Lakers. 
Uh, the last yeah. episode started off in Jerry West's childhood in West Virginia with his dad just being the ever-loving shit out of his mom. Yeah, um, yeah, that's just, right. Like, immediately, it goes from like like wherever West Virginia to just, no, daddy, no, like immediately <laughs> yeah. right to that. And I just love that impression of your beautiful state. Uh, well, I'm, well, well, that was a film? A uh, series. I don't like that. What, from series. what? From an HBO? Okay. Yeah, it's about the Lakers. A lot of famous people in it. Well, you guys talked really to Jason good. Clark it, in the act. Well, it just speaks yeah. to the hypocrisy of Hollywood. Why? Because well, are we are we fu- are we fighting our spouses? Or are we fucking them? Uh, both in this case. Yeah. Which one is it? Okay. Which one is it? Yeah. I mean, no matter what you're doing to your spouse, you can do it as long as you're wearing cuts clothing. Isn't that right, boys? Mm-hmm. Their comfortable yeah. tech mm-hmm. tees are the highest tech. That's why they call them the tech tees, I suppose. I just figured that out. The fabric, I mean, say what you want about uh, anything, but you can't say that cuts clothing, T-shirts, fabric won't stand the test of time. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and yeah. I, I could wax poetic about the, the fabric of cuts clothing for 50 to 60 minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, next week we're going to do an episode uh, just on cuts clothing. So get ready for that. It's and it's not a bonus episode. episode. Yeah, it's not. It's just a two-hour episode. Um, but you guys can uh, get your cuts clothing at cutsclothing.com/story. C U T S clothing.com/story, uh, and you'll get it for fifteen percent off. And it's the only shirt worth wearing. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Oh, boys! Happy St. Patrick's Day! Oh, is this coming out on St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, yeah all right. you, you know where yeah. I'll be for that. What is waxing poetic? I mean, I just used it. And I, you, like, well, we know what it means. I was kind of like so I, I, about using. I couldn't tell you the etymology. No, of it. It Regardless, you shouldn't use that. Wax um, poetic. I just I just went to a, an Italian restaurant and they were having uh, Tijuana Tuesdays, so I just got a uh, a, a quesadilla from a, an Italian restaurant. I'm I'm, I'm feeling. <laughs> Wait, I'm, where I'm are, feel, are you in? Wheeling? I'm feeling off. Uh, I'm in Ghana. Okay. <laughs> you know that, by the way, Mr. Beast is making a Shrekadilla. Like, it's just a Shrek-themed quesadilla. You see that? It's just kind of green. Yeah, I think it's just like a spinach wrap. Green. Yeah. Like a yeah, pesto, it's just a spinach yeah. <laughs> Oh, pesto little, little, quesadilla. A little pesto. Um, but we got Ken Jack in here today because it's a St. Patrick's Day special. We're doing a fictional cruise, which is an original idea that's never been done. Mm-hmm. Um, it's mm-hmm. unlike any other podcast that's been done. It's our second one. And uh, the theme today is uh, we're assembling a crew. Uh, it's a St. Patrick's Day theme. We're assembling a crew that you'd want to uh, fight for uh, Irish independence with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you're, we're building an IRA. You're waxing yep. poetic about the title right now, mm-hmm. basically. It's increasingly I, verbose. I th- oh, is, is, uh, did you just give the definition of wax? Does that yeah. mean verbose? Yeah. Okay. It says being over, like being increasingly verbose, which sounds more lame than saying wax poetic. So I wax poetic say. sounds awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wax, but like I don't know. Wax is a cool word though. There was a rapper called. named Big Wax. Um, <laughs> he was insanely good. No, that's bad though, because then he, he had be... a Tourette's bar, like not just like a bar that he mentioned Tourette's. He was a, he did he actually acted it out in the bar. But that, see, that name verse. is just like you're asking for trouble. Like, just a, a, call Tourette's, a Tourette's bar sounds like like a new Wonka candy. Now one like made you burp. This <laughs> yeah. one just like makes yeah. you say cunt. It makes you curse. This makes so, you wait, say cunt in restaurants. What was it? <laughs> Big wax. I'm the best you know. Then he was like, my float. Shit, got cum face Tourette syndrome. <laughs> like it didn't no. rhyme, but it, it was still sick. Then yeah. he 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 uh, rhymed. Um, my penis hole when I'm horny with Chiquita's whole inventory. <laughs> he was like, I'm straight nutty, just like my penis hole when I'm horny. Y'all bananas, but I'm Chiquita's whole inventory. Oh, yeah. So oh, he is, that is, he so is a wordsmith. Like, I don't know what he's up to now, but he... <laughs> my flow... That's a fire line. My flow shit got cunt face or Tourette's syndrome. I'm straight nutty, sort of like my penis hole when I'm horny. Yeah. My flow shit got cunt face Tourette's syndrome. <laughs> I remember being like, I remember being 17. I'm like, Dad, that's it. That's the pinnacle. But you that's see, I would just call him, if I was his enemy, I would just call him Whack Poetic. That's a terrible idea. To He's, big name that rhymes with whack. Big He's Big Whack. He's Big Whack. Big Whack. Or, yeah, Big Whack then. Uh, that's horrible. Like jerking yeah. off. It's even worse. It's like, that sounds oh. like something a British person would call beating off. Yes, absolutely. Like somebody from Liverpool. <laughs> Does it either you <laughs> say, say go having it. a wank or you're having a Big Whack. His bird's not home, so we had to have a Big Whack. <laughs> <laughs> So many Joneses, but only one big Y. There's a lot of good lines in this. 
he's what's he's, the song? No, I think he holds up too. I don't wax really... goes bananas. <laughs> He for sure says some gay slurs in it. Did uh, he run with Hobson or no? He did not. He he pioneered Hobson. He was before Hobson. In, okay. Did, in, did, did he have white so much. Contacts? Dude, listen, Big listen Wax. Let's hype him up. Let's bring I don't know if we have any influence, but let's get him to the next level. Insider so let's much, on she nicknamed me Nuva Ring. That's a great line. Especially whenever he wrote that. And <laughs> before people even that knew what Nuva Rings were. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> nah, he was a shill for Big Pussy. Yeah. <laughs> no, big wax. God damn. These you are gotta great. find him. This what the fuck? Can we find big wax? I'm Where's just, he from? He's from LA or Cali, California. I can't stop reading this. Oh yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you for elaborating on I was confused at what Cali. No, nah, I just signed a wax saying it. A lot of gay slurs in here. A lot. You yeah, were not. He says kidding. the F slur for sure. Oh for sure. yeah. But like, but like is there's some cues in there. Oh, some yeah. cues? Oh yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's doing well. Young Wax. Oh, no, that's not even. Oh, that's a different guy. <laughs> he's on Twitter. No, that's Young, he's, that's young he's, Wax. He's black now. <laughs> Wait, Big was Big Wax not black? Very white. Okay, I got to look at him up again. I don't know. Let's, I didn't for, let's see his drop face. it, too. Oh, yeah. I found it. Followed by KFC. What <laughs> makes and so white. much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Big Wax. Shout out to I him. Mean, did, shout out to him. I, I hope he's not bananas anymore. Yeah, you can only be bananas for so long. He's good with his words. He's active on Twitter too. Shit, this is crazy. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to do more research on Big Wax later. Is he verified? Mm, yes. He's okay. Fifty thousand followers, not bad. Damn, Big Wax. Oh, this dude rules. You know what grinds his gears? Nothing, because he doesn't own a bike or an old-fashioned clock. So he's a wordsmith. He only <laughs> thinks. Oh, that's horrible. In- <laughs> yeah, oh no. I mean, there's so many other things with gears. You know what yeah. really floats his boat? Water, and I guess any other liquid, technically. Does that guy think cars don't have gears? I think so. <laughs> oh, he fell that off. Dude has, that, that dude has no car. <laughs> when he makes pizza, he uses the Earth's crust as crust, and it serves it on a tectonic <laughs> plate. <laughs> he's like a, oh, this dude sucks. He's like a Facebook teacher. <laughs> Death wish coffee with life cereal. Call that a balanced breakfast. Wait, this is what he's saying now? <laughs> yes. This is on the Twitter? same guy who this did- This is this month. Dude, he rhymed- t- t- uh, <laughs> I'm straight nutty like my penis hole when it's horny with y'all bananas, but I'm Chiquita's whole inventory. That There's nothing better than that. This guy's insane. He's putting his throwaways on the timeline. He's doing that shit now? <laughs> Dude, that guy, that's like a, something that will go viral on LinkedIn. It just hit me now that for crying out loud is a clean version of for Christ's sake. Ugh. <laughs> what does uh. that mean? The, this guy, well, like his associated acts as epic rap battles of history. That's never a good sign. Oh, you don't want that. No, those need to make a comeback. <laughs> I'm Big Wax. You're the... B- <laughs> I'm the best, you know. My flow... Shit. Oh, you want my <laughs> Tourette's line. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tourette's syndrome. He rhymed, you know, with syndrome. What if he just did an entire song about <laughs> just, like, <laughs> diseases and disorders? Like his entire Fuck. rap was just Why did I that. think he was so sick? Because he obviously was. All right, don't diss him though. Who's dissing? Don't diss him. Yeah, if you're listening, hype him up. Watch uh, his Rox. twin brother, Herbal T. That's amazing. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> Herbal T. His brother's the producer, Herbal T, but just the letter T. That's amazing. Mm. <laughs> Owen just sent us, do Gen Z kids still say goody goody gumdrops? <laughs> no, what? <laughs> what? Is that what he said? Absolutely not. What Dude, are you oh my about? God. He's fucking, he smoked himself to death. <laughs> He is fucking senile now. That should be like he should be the poster boy for anti weed. Oh no. wax. Was he oh, like no good, goody goody gumdrops? Is like a what like the kids Gen- are Gen saying? Now? saying yeah. that. His only memory from before the age of twenty twenty two is just saying goody goody gumdrops. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Holy shit. What a what a trip. Yeah. We gotta get him on All the pod. Right. Yeah, we'll get him. Um. Yeah. So, fictional crews. Uh, who wants to start? I could, or Owen, or I, th- I think we have a few, right? Yeah. Who wants yeah. To um, I don't know how we're going to determine a winner. Um, are you guys ready to fucking podcast? Let's do it. Come on. <laughs> well, all right. Come maybe on. Do, I'll make the I'll make the list. The uh, what do you call it? The random list order thing. That website we use for everything else. Oh, we can just decide. No, fuck that. No, make it random. Make yeah. It, make it fair. I don't have like a theme. 
Yeah. That's fine. I don't know if I, I did it yeah. right. But no, there's some, no way. There's no wrong way to do it. Well, we'll find out if you did it wrong. Yeah, I mean, there's um, got a, a wrong Tyler, way. Tyler made his as well. Okay, cool. Do any of uh, Do any of you guys have a uh, Apple Music? No. 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 Spotify. I I heard that their shuffle isn't actually random because they won't play two of the same artists in a row. <laughs> so like, let's like you you can't li- like uh, let's say you have a song by Stone Temple Pilots and you you have multiple saves. The next song won't be Stone Temple Pilots. So it's not truly random. It's not truly shuffled. I don't think I, I don't know if that's true about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll think about I just that. That was interesting. Yeah. yeah no, I, I, I'll I, keep I that in the I'd, back of my head. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I figured I, I'd. Fi- <laughs> no, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. Got me, the order. I think here. it's kind of oh. cool. Uh, no, nah, I like that. I would like to keep that in my. The order holster. is Tyler, me, yeah. Owen, Nick, KB. So at least you got back to backs then, KB. What do you mean nice. back to back? Were you, well, were we gonna snake it? Oh, we're doing a draft style. Oh no no no! We're doing them all at once. Okay, perfect. Yeah, pitch them all at once. That's actually even better. Or I can just start. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, Nick, you start. Tyler, you want me to start? No, Tyler's coming in. Okay. I have no idea what the theme. Is this uh, yeah, do you have a mic? I guess. All right, I have no idea the theme at all going into this. I was told this at three. So cool. I have three specific people and two prototypes. Okay, perfect. Two, First, two prototypes. Division three bouncer with a Notre Dame or a Shamrock or an Irish flag calf tattoo. Mm, that's so that strong. is actually that's strong. That's, that's really smart. Super wait, 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 wait. You said a, a what bouncer? Like a D three football bouncer that graduated yeah. Yeah. and then instantly got like a Catholic tattoo. So aggressive, this person. No, that is Hyper that aggressive. is the type of person. The the one person I know with a uh, with a Notre Dame logo tattoo, Kyle. You know him as well. He's uh, an a Irish kid. Age machine. No, it's not Gage, Gage machine. machine. Gage Machine does has a lot of tattoos, but not <laughs> Gage Machine gets keeps keeps getting arrested. I feel awful. Uh, he was a good kid. He was my friend. He wasn't a but, good kid. Uh, he was not no, a good he, kid. He was cool. I was mach- cool with him, but he sucked. I was as a whole machine to family. Other yeah, yeah. Um, but no, I don't want to say this kid's name because like you could find him, and I think he might. He has the worst proposal video of all time. Oh, it's okay. him in like his backyard. And uh, I just I, I don't even want him found because I feel bad because I think I think she said yes, but uh, <laughs> they don't even like it. He posted it and like nobody reacted to it. He works. Well, he his job on Facebook is that he works in film industry, <laughs> the, like the singular. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The OK. Yeah. Do you yeah. know who it is? Kyle? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it. He uh, yeah, he did announce mm-hmm. that he works at film industry. <laughs> the yes. kids at Ohio every, State. Every, it got it went crazy. It went bonkers yeah. on Facebook. It went it went local viral. They were like, "You finally did it." It was, it was the best. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so that's one person you're having in your foxhole. That's a good one because they're usually uh, pretty dumb. Yeah, I feel like that's a prevailing thing. All right, what's the next? But they're, they're, yeah, they're tough. Yeah, they're tough guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah Tyler, just run through the uh, the tattoos. The Notre Dame tattoo is always the if it's the ND, it's always on the calf. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. It seemed to be the theme anyway. All right, am I just ripping off five? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, second one, I had a church going Irish Catholic alcoholic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got so my dad. So specific <laughs> prototypes, <laughs> but he has the power <laughs> with God. But you're really showing off where you're from because, like, yeah. you're just na- <laughs> yeah. Okay, like you're yeah, just yeah, telling on yourself. He's saying yeah. Yes, i from Boston. <laughs> I was told to make a list yeah, at three is, o'clock. Yeah. I'm like, let me just think of specifics. Uh, then I had Mark I Wahlberg. I told him to describe his uncle. Yeah, oh yeah. But he has to be <laughs> in character when like in the Departed or I was like, say, in the marathon. All right, he's not. We're not going against Vietnam here. We're going against this. Is against Britain only. Most Irish version of yeah, like when he's Marvel. playing Irish character, yes. like when he's yep. super into it. Uh, Hornswoggle uh, from I, WWE. I, I, for obvious I, w- reasons. I would rather, I would rather want Mark Wahlberg fighting with me in the Korean War. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's he's just like killing. Well, that's specifically why I picked Vietnam. Imagine he's, he's bloodlusted. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's he like a berserker platoon. Mode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, no matter how, like he'll just serve forty five days in jail when he gets back. He doesn't give a damn. Doesn't give a shit about a court martial. He like didn't he like beat the shit out of like Murphy Lee because he was he thought he was Asian. No, he beat he beat up <laughs> <laughs> he beat up a random Asian guy yeah. because he knew he was Asian. Yes, that it was he definitely was sure. But there's like a dropkick Murphy joke in there. Um, hold on. <laughs> didn't wait. Let me run it back, and you can like edit it out. Didn't he like beat hey. the shit out of Murphy Lee because he thought he was Asian? <laughs> 
because of his last name Lee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Documented. That's right before he the, almost stopped 9 11. Uh, yeah, so, he so, uh, he drop kicked Murphy. <laughs> um, so what like what an Irish legend. Uh, good pick, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> he drop kicked Murphy Lee. Yeah, he thought good. he thought Murphy Lee was an Asian man <laughs> instead of a black hip hop musician. So he, you know, he punched him in the face. Then he like did some other jujitsu moves, and he drop kicked Murphy. No, no way, Mark Wahlberg's doing jujitsu. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he just does jitsu. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Gentile jitsu. Yeah. <laughs> Catholic jitsu. That's that'd be a great studio to open up. Trad cat jitsu. My Mark Trad Wahlberg. Trad jitsu. Yes. Jitsu. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Uh, what's your number three? Uh, this four. Is my four. Four. Yeah. Hornswoggle. Simple. Just even. So he was at Rough and Rowdy, and he was a uh, he was a lot. Who is when this? We were there. The WVU. He was the player? little. No, 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 it's Pitsnock. The, 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 not the Kevin rest- Pitsnock. <laughs> no, this is the oh, this the, is the, the small guy, yeah, the yeah. dwarf, the dwarven yeah. wrestler. Yes, mm. good idea. All right, I get it now. So, is Kevin Pitsnoggle is still on the board? Yeah, he's still, he's still on, the, still big still on the board. <laughs> God damn, I could. I don't know. Yeah, okay. All right, good. You got the, one more? Yeah, my last one. Red Arback. You need a connected old guy, super Irish. He cheated a lot, in like the sixties. I'll take him. Wait, wait, who, is, who is it? Oh, no, no. And, like and, the and that's, and that's good. You, forever ago. Again, I yeah. went super relative to no, what you, I know. You killed. <laughs> yeah. Yes. No, you're really showing off your Boston bubble, and you're you're lucky that you got that last guy because I think we were all going to try to get him. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Actually, Red, I, what was his name? Red Arbuckle? Arbuck. Arbuck. Who is it again? Arbuck. He like started the Celtics. Celtics. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he won like 18 yeah, yeah, yeah. championships. Mm-hmm. I had no idea what the tone or like theme was supposed no, to be, so I just wrote five perfect. Irish stuff. He was actually in that These winning are five. time show too. He's played by Michael Chiklis from The Shield. Huh. Looks great. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, they, like no, that's, made a probably, bunch of that's like a very solid team, and we we were try to be Mensa geniuses and your team is better, yeah. better <laughs> than us. I, I guarantee it. Uh, so I guarantee it. Uh, bring up uh, Michael Chiklis again, Ken Jack. Yeah, well, Michael Chiklis is playing Red Hour back in mm-hmm. the winning time. AB, KB is uh, Chiklis as well. He gets no pussy. <laughs> <laughs> KB Chiklis. There um, you go. Yeah, I mean, you guys mm-hmm. must be related. Okay. Dry, dry. <laughs> oh, you have a pussyless yeah, dick. Ch- yeah, I'm, I'm Chiklis. Yeah. He's got his own shield, which has to be built. Not physical. That's, right. it's <laughs> That's his shield. That's his shield. <laughs> That's what we call him, too. We call him The Thing. He played The Thing in Fantastic Four, Michael Chiklis. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm not Chiklis. A- it's fucking stupid. <laughs> I wish there was a celebrity named Dudeless. All right. I'm up, right? <laughs> uh, uh, let me go. Okay. All right. So Tyler's is going to be the best because it's just, it makes sense. <laughs> um, so I was thinking you're going to war. What's the one thing you need when you go to war? You need a um, gun, child, you need, a lot you of need, a weapon, you know, weapon. You need, you need weapons. So I have a team of weapons. Uh, first, <laughs> okay. I have uh, it's good. Britney Spears. Ooh, okay. Britney Spears. Uh, she has recently lost. She's out of the conservatorship and she should be in it. 100 mm. percent uh i mean like i brought this up a lot gay pat put out the free britney merch and it he, just to get a merch bonus that greedy fuck he didn't care one way or another mm-hmm. and there's going to be blood on his hands because she's going to she will kill but uh, if you look at her instagram she's going to distract the british sh- soldiers with her tiny little emoji over her pussy because mm. they're going to be like across the battlefield they'll be like how's how small is her pussy? Mm-hmm. And that's going to be perfect for like picking picking off British soldiers. Yes. Mm-hmm. So so we have spears, uh, and then we'll have some knights. Uh, you know, so the favorite weapon of knights is a lance. So we're going to have lance bass. Ooh. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. I- ironically, lance bass was the bass voice of In Sync, and just like. Having a gay with a bass voice is a is a conundrum in itself. So it will confuse them. Mm-hmm. So it'll just be like, "Hey, what's up?" And they're going to think he's a man's man. And once they, the British are very homophobic. Facts always once have that. Once they find that out, and his bass voice is so deep, I think it can register a brown note, mm. which will cause disease in the trenches. They'll be shitting themselves, and it'll it's good for him because it'll also loosen their asses. <laughs> <laughs> um. 
So the Irish are at a disadvantage because there's a lot less of them. Mm-hmm. So uh, they're going to need a cannon. They're going to de- need oh, Nick no. Cannon. Oh, they're yeah. going to need Nick <laughs> Cannon to help reproduce and and get their lo- get get way more forces because that dude, uh, lupus yes. or not. Mm-hmm. is 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 fucking i don't know if the lupus makes your cum faster i think that might be something i think he's a more streamlined a more streamlined sperm lupus it's, or it's not shaped. actually sounds like a british I, name <laughs> yeah it does Luke, but i think yeah. i i don't know how he's getting so many women pregnant at such speed um but he's having irish twins um which is just kids born in the same year that yeah. aren't twins. But like, I don't know if it's a side effect of lupus, but I think his sperm is shaped like a stealth bomber. Like it is the most aerodynamic, <laughs> frictionless. Uh, Dude, yeah, it's, is... Nick Cannon is insane. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I, he and is an know, anomaly. Like I don't get, I don't get his existence. I I don't get it either. Because what's he? What's he do? I have no. He does. He has shows that kind of fell apart. I feel like. Like, how can you, know. he's always been a host. How yeah. do you just get a job as a host? Exactly. Like, usually at the, he's, he's just like, all right, I'm going to be a famous host. Wow. What did he do? Like, so, he just got and it. a couple of things, right? He did uh, all and you that. Can't, like, and you can't say like drumline. Like, I feel like dr- yeah. drumline, like, that was just like a filler. Like, that was like, they like foresaw that. Like, they foresaw, Hollywood foresaw people being like, why the fuck is Nick Cannon famous? Mm-hmm. So they gave him the and drum so they, line ro- role, mm-hmm. but yeah. Yeah. Like it's the uh, same thing with Miles Teller. I don't think he's a good actor and he's not good looking. And so they gave him Whiplash, another yeah. drum movie. So mm-hmm. I think you could trace it back to drum movies. Drum seems uh, to do well. Like, even like you could keep speaking. That's getting cut. But <laughs> yeah, we're not, not going to keep that. Oh, you, my, you guys oh like Miles, Miles, Miles Teller? Teller is average. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's the yeah, best joke we've had the on door. this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> We're not gonna keep um, that in. Um, so we're also gonna need some more firepower to fight them. <laughs> so uh we're gonna have a musket, which is um it's a female Elon Musk, it's a musket. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> which so is who? It's it's just a, it's just I guess a less smart Elon Musk. Yeah. Didn't he 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 just lost his wife to a trans woman, Chelsea Manning, who was he didn't in really? the what? Yes, Grimes? Chelsea Manning took grimes from him what the and f- so and they still had a kid though which is kind of alpha yeah they had a kid and then and then this this ex-soldier trans woman stole his wife so i think he's going to become trans and be a soldier to uh <laughs> to fight back but oh uh, so it's I elon it. himself yeah. or her- it's elon herself himself. Right, yeah. but the thing is, there won't be any more. There won't be any musket balls if he's trans. So, <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> so we're gonna have to figure out ammo. And so ammo wise, he wasn't able uh, to sustain a faithful relationship with Grimes, the world's richest man. <laughs> yeah. Lost, but, lost his re- lost gr- his relationship. Grimes with- wasn't a stand up girl. <laughs> <laughs> This is, hey, mom, dad, this is my girl, Grimes. <laughs> I don't know. Grimes is just. Did you see when she uh, went for a walk with the communist manifesto upside down by accident? I like his yeah. manifesto. Yes. That's pretty cool, actually. Well, is... I, like... I don't even know. He tried so hard to name their child, like, like the most, like Dumb the weirdest thing. name ever. And it was yeah. still like, you're. Her name is Grimes. Yeah. Like, no, like <laughs> tough to your be. your child can be like Q space entered M dash five, but like yeah. Grimes is still way filthier. Mm-hmm. Right, because like it's gr- it, it is a can't... synonym of dirt. Yeah, but not really. That's grime. What is grime? Filth. You can't use grime. It's like a, a sem- yeah, like a grammatically incorrect filthy like, person. That's how filthy it is. Grime, yeah. you can't on even my sink. There's grime on <laughs> my tub or whatever. You yeah. can't even guess. Uh, the next we need a uh, torpedo, you, so we're gonna have. Do, you did need a torpedo. Yeah, you need bad, to bad at this point in the draft. <laughs> like it, it is, is it, it's, it's a. Uh, so it's gonna be Prince Andrew ripped in half. To, uh, <laughs> Wait, he's a te- he's a te- <laughs> it's, it's a it's a torn <laughs> it's a torn pedo. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but in the past tense, so he's a torpedo. Gotcha. And uh, yeah. that's going to that's going to dishearten the British. So he's going to be like a flayed man on each side of the lines. Mm-hmm. Um. And then I think, <laughs> I think lastly, uh, we're going to need a bow and arrow. So it's uh, SNL's bow and Yang. 
uh, pointing out the hidden arrow in the FedEx logo. <laughs> that's like, that's more, yeah. And, and that's just to that's just to confuse the the soldiers on the other side. <laughs> you need so, to <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we're going to be going up with Britney Spears, a musket, Lance Bass, bow mm-hmm. and arrow, Nick Cannon, <laughs> there. And, a, and a torpedo. That's something you would do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I would. Yeah. I would. If I'm taking, if I'm taken as a POW, um, there's like, tell right. me your secrets. Just be like, all right, you have a FedEx truck nearby. Check this out. <laughs> You'll never be able to Do look it. at this logo the same again. Mm, graphic designer here. Former graphic designer oh. here. Um, <laughs> Mm, yeah, they actually hid subtly, but not so subtly so you don't notice it at all. Um, the, an arrow in the the F. In the ex, in the ex. In the ex. Other than in like, the, right. other than doctor, there's no way to start a sentence saying as a yeah. your yeah. in your job. It always without is like sounding the shittiest like an thing you'll ever uh-huh. hear. I, Whenever that sound sm- starts with that, you sound smug as fuck. Yeah, you well, did. You've I done mean, this to me many times. I remember I wore like a Milwaukee's Milwaukee Bucks like crew neck, and you. <laughs> what did you say? This is when well, I, I first was- met you. A lot of people, uh, so a lot of people see that there's a. Uh, a negative basketball in the antlers of the Milwaukee buck. But a lot of people don't know the buck's neck is the M of Milwaukee. And that's pretty fun. Mm. That wasn't as cool as the arrow from FedEx. No, it was no, definitely not. The the arrow from FedEx is eye opening. But no, you could say as a doctor. And I think you can say as a podcaster before saying something sexist. Yeah, for sure. (laughs) As a podcaster. podcaster. (laughs) <laughs> and so the, I, as yeah, a so podcaster i don't get why the buddy in the new emojis are <laughs> the buddy is pregnant Yo, yeah. did why you see that there's the... a there's a heart fingers emoji now no oh, yeah I oh i didn't see that one. Yeah. Not acting in that mm. <laughs> is that your thing i what did i say i uh dubbed that the gayest thing a man can do ah yeah. yes it's yes make the heart with his fingers with his fingers uh-huh. okay there are so many there having sex with another man is not even Mount Rushmore of gay things. You it can it do. obviously mm, it, it really it doesn't. isn't. Mm-hmm. Be, yeah. I, it, I would it say it legitimately five. isn't no irony. Mm-hmm. It's the fifth, but no, there's definitely there's others. Yeah. Yeah. Tweeting lyrics is up there. Yep. Yeah. Telling people how you're doing. That, yeah. Yes. Yeah. You're on, yeah. You're on you're on FaceTime and you just spontaneously like do a rap verse. <laughs> <laughs> when you're at karaoke and you sing an Never. MTK song, yeah, yeah, there's That's there's there's there. a list, yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, so as a podcaster, I guess, am I up now? Yeah, yeah, that's my that's my weapons crew. Okay, great um, crew, Nick. That is very good, strong crew. Um, I didn't have as good a theme as as weapons. Most of mine are just things designed to defeat the British specifically. So it's like, oh, it's okay. like venom for the British. Basically, I'm cool with anti-British. So the sun, the, the first, fucking sun. Exactly. <laughs> the uh, so the first pick for me is you know English. They're a very tough enemy to beat. I want to uh, pick someone that has more experience defeating English than anything else on Earth, and that's the autocorrect function. It's my number one pick. Yeah. <laughs> no that's one, right. No one's beaten English back more than autocorrect. Mm-hmm. Name one person or or concept. None. Zilch. Dude, I don't know what happened, but when I type Tommy into my phone, it just corrects to Timmy, and I don't know why. And I, I just don't fix it. Yeah, I think that's actually better. But then, what did I type dumb yesterday in the group chat, Kyle? And it didn't correct me. I spelled Nick, uh... Nick spelled <laughs> gentrification, or no, genuinely, which is genuinely. a more common word, Yeah. Um, <laughs> with uh, starting with a J. Like, so you fought through the autocorrect yeah. to spell it genuinely. <laughs> no, <laughs> autocorrect didn't even do anything, man. Ooh. Dude, it should have. Isn't that a rapper? I'm pretty sure. I was like, yeah, he doesn't even start with that's that. genuine. Yeah, yeah. It's tough when you accidentally think... curse in your duck group chats. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah, sucks. It's so embarrassing. Say, Yo, keep it PG. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. My second pick. You want someone that can beat the crown. The crown is the big problem here. That's the number one problem with the British. You want someone that yeah. fills in the gaps of your team, and you want someone that's the bane of British people everywhere, and that's a dentist. Any given yeah. dentist. Yeah. <laughs> We'll yeah, do here. They'll, so so off, they put on crowns. They they put on crowns, then they remove them. They they could do yeah. everything, and they can manhandle a crown. And so that <laughs> you know the crown soldiers are what we're trying to beat here. So I think it works. I'm right? pre- How, they, I I think getting a, a a dental degree 
in England is a certificate program. Like it's <laughs> it's like a two week online course. It's like becoming like a lifeguard or like a CPR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just get it to, ta- to 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 fluff the resume a little bit. Yeah, like getting a job at Barstool. Like there was like yes. a Dave Portney, a Portnoy of dentistry. Yes, he's like, <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> Well, I think I saw someone once describe. Yeah, Barstool. you're a you're a dentist. <laughs> I think I saw someone describe uh, Barstool once as like a uh, like a government sanction, like a we work of like Boston Air General Area, where it's just like he's just here <laughs> doing it to like as like a federal stipend job. Like it's like yeah, a little bit. No, yeah. like you know how Dave will like see a tweet of like Mints like screaming hotty toddy, and he'll just like quote tweet it and say hired. Yeah, like if there's like uh like a. A video of a British person using a toothpick. The Queen will quote tweet it and just be like, "Dentist." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like like pulling the sword out of the stone. <laughs> Sidetrack. Did you? Were you on the train with a? What was the species you encountered the other day? Oh, I saw the rarest person of all time. On, I was on the Amtrak from uh, New York to Pittsburgh. It's just like. Honestly, that it, it, it's a blast. First of all, if anybody can't afford in a, New York, can't afford a flight. <laughs> it, it was more expensive. It was more expensive than the flight back by thirty dollars. Wow. You're that afraid of flying? I'm well. So the flight's an hour, but it's like you got to get to the airport. This is eleven Don't hours, it. but it feel it feels like eight. You were <laughs> <It's> great, <laughs> but I, I was up at the uh, cafe cart, which the planes don't have. I was up stretching my legs, walking, um, and I was getting. Was a, this the eleventh uh, or fifteenth hour? So yeah, there was a an engine malfunction to where we go had to, across one we, state. Wow, we had to swap engines in, in Philadelphia. Yeah. So I didn't know they had the equipment. I made it an hour. I had a, they swapped engines, but I was up at the cafe cart getting a a, a, a goosehead IPA, which was great. Um, you know, awesome planes. You know, whatever. Um, a bit very double, expensive. Lot a of double plane. goose, extra quack. <laughs> 12%. That goes back to the, the duck group chat. Because the again. Goose yeah. Island is like, what, a 6%er? Yeah. So the double goose. I- they know what you're saying like that. <laughs> so the, like, all right, so the, the goose. The, the double goose. The double goose. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because like when, you, when you're off of it, you can't even say it out loud. In front of me was a British Amish guy on the train. So he had oh. the he had the beard, the thing, the hair of an Amish man, the dress, the suspenders of an Amish man. He got on in like Lancaster, which is very Brit, uh, very Amish. And then at the cafe car, he was speaking in a very British accent. And he got a two DiGiorno pizzas, and he paid with an Amtrak credit card. So this guy, I just I need to be boys with this guy bad. But I think that's the rarest man of all time. I think he's no longer British Amish. Amish. <laughs> You're no longer Amish. I, I, I you take a train and have DiGiorno pizza. <laughs> I, I, I wish he was black. A British Amish black guy. He might have just been like, I mean, what do they speak? They speak Dutch or something, it, right? It, <laughs> uh yeah, they're Dutch. You might have just had the accent wrong. This is very possible. No, he was very British. He was very British and uh a British Amish person would have the worst teeth ever. Yeah. Oh yeah. Chopping oh. their lung chopping trees down. It would just be wood teeth. Chop, chopping trees. Yes. If they're fucking incisors. I think it's incest, <laughs> which is probably also true mm, yeah. in the Amish community. Seems like something they'd like. Um, okay, so, so you have what? So right now I ha- I have autocorrect dentists. and dentists. Okay. Uh, my next yeah, so, pick. So far, this is bad. I need to destroy the heart and the will of the British people. Um, mm-hmm. I then one of the staples of their food bev. Like, what would you say? Like the most British drink is drink tea. Tea. Yeah, it's tea. Tea is the sure. correct answer. It's the beverage they're most known for. So how do I starve the aisles of tea? I draft someone in my crew that is experienced in destroying tea, Caitlyn Jenner. My number yes. one, three pick. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, that's right. Yeah. She uh, she suppresses them, which is good in warfare. Yes. And she could kamikaze with her car. Yes. Yeah. Also mm-hmm. true. Yeah. And starving <laughs> them of all their, their their biggest like national resource, which is tea. Mm-hmm. I could see British people pounding Shasta Cola though too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I could too. Isn't that what like <laughs> yeah. Juggalos drink? Isn't that their yeah. thing? No, that's Fago. It's Fago. Fago. That's right. Damn. Shasta's for the the elites. <laughs> I want to give a whoop whoop on this one. Um. All right. My next pick. Like I was saying before with the crown, the big thing is trying to like you know, you want to defeat the crown, right? So for me. I want to defeat the figurehead specifically of the British government and the queen herself, yeah. right? Yeah. And, you know, she might not have the power, but she is the symbol of hope for this isle of, like, plain-faced, ugly fools. So, like, what's the most effective way to destroy queen? Having the AIDS virus on your team. 
So I'm gonna draft the AIDS yeah. virus. Mm-hmm. I was I was hoping that was gonna remain so, on yeah. the board when I got <laughs> the, the, to the, it. But... The, the queen, she would uh, she would uh, wear gloves to like shake hands with the people with AIDS. Then Princess Di was just like, Nah, I don't need that. It won't hurt me. And then look, look at what her happened. Now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should have worn gloves. Think about it this way: anyone who's ever shaked hands with a gay person is dead or going to die. Think of, or think about. It. Or an AIDS person, right? Did I say gay person? You did, you did. Oh, an AIDS person <laughs> in this case. Correct. Um. <laughs> an AIDS person in this case. Uh, for my oh, next pick, oh, no. what is the mouthpiece of the British media? Uh, BBC. The BBC. Main <laughs> outlet of propaganda, the British Broadcasting Corporation. So we need something to defeat the BBC. And what's better than a heavyset white woman? <laughs> <laughs> that's it yeah uh-huh. she's got to be from yep yep she, it she could will be any she will yeah yeah she will take them <laughs> take them and i don't know what it is about heavy set white women but i don't either they they get pregnant so easily yeah mm-hmm. almost like faster it doesn't yeah. really make sense there's like a longer way for there the has to be to some go. universal trade-off that's you know i don't know yeah it makes sense yeah Probably, oh. I think they drink a lot of Shasta cola. <laughs> it goes back to Shasta. <laughs> it's, it makes you more fertile. So I have more in my in my honorable mentions, but that's my thought. The autocorrect function, a, okay, yeah. dentist, Caitlyn Jenner, the AIDS virus, and a heavy set white woman. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's enough to wipe out the British. For, first of all, fuck the British for Doctor Who, a bad show that's never been good, has been on the air for like 28 years. I think even longer, honestly. Yeah. Imagine enjoying that. Yeah. Doctor it's tough. Who? Yeah, I think that's been around since like literally the People 70s. People like actually. that has like a cult following still though, right? Yeah. Oh, or is yeah. that Doctor Quinn, medicine woman? Duh, I think it's 100 <laughs> percent Doctor Who. <laughs> so that is without a doubt, Doctor. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't oh know. my god. Um, you know who else sounds British? Uh, Felix Gray, boys. Mm, it, yeah, sounds like it, would, yeah. it sounds it like it would be British. Yes. It, uh, it, fuck, it, I forgot it, to wear them. I told I told the ad team I would wear them today. I, I did wear them today. They must have fell off my face. They're a timeless product, but it's amazing they were only made five years ago. Uh, their lenses filter out 15 times more blue light uh, to make screen time uh, easy on your eyes, and you're going to be sleeping well. And you guys can get prescription or non-prescription. You can go to felixgrayglasses.com slash story. That's F-E-L-I-X-G-R-A-Y, not F-E-E-L-D-I-C-K-S-G-A-Y, uh, glasses.com slash story. Uh, you get free shipping, free returns, free exchanges. Uh, go to felixgrayglasses.com slash story. Oh, Kyle, you got the, you got, you got them on. Mm-hmm. Oh, hell yeah. Big Wait, time. was that... Was that one rock and roll hand and one? What was the other hand doing? No, you didn't do two yeah. devils. <laughs> nah, We're gonna have to check the tapes. Nah, let's check the tapes. You, get, you gotta. Can you get this? Is this bad? I feel uh, Ken Jack, good. you. That's like drawing a yin yang and peace sign on your binder. It made no <laughs> sense next to each other, but yeah. it's just like I can they, that's the it. only two things you could draw. That's the other thing I can't do. Is like, you ever see people who can do this? Like they can flip these. Like I can't do it at all. Like, like really, like, like no, but like you can't do that. You need to like naturally flip like oh i just can't even think about it makes my head hurt unreal sorry it's amazing how uh how british you guys look after putting on glasses immediately Mm -hmm. immediately Mm -hmm. it was fast oh did i tell i'm gonna be a a dropkick murphy's concert in boston during saint patrick's day which is the most irish thing you could do you know that the pure volume of like tap out t-shirts i'm gonna see there like Mm -hmm. it's it's a dropkick is a Dropkick Murphys concert the exact length of shipping up to Boston? Yeah, that's what I said. When the, the tickets <laughs> yeah. are bought, I'm like, I know two songs. I think you're go, you're go, you were like, you saw that there was a Dropkick Murphys concert in this this year, um, and you were like, I'm gonna go. I, I need to go. I, was, I bet you'll see everybody from Tyler's team except Wahlberg. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. Well, because Wahlberg's like, performing. Yeah. Ken Jack, you Murphy. You have a little bit of curly hair. Mm-hmm. That might be too exotic for that concert yeah. you might I'll get wear, hate crime I'll wear a you're gonna get cap. hate crime i wear a skull cap the entire time because they'll love that too I, actually i think you're gonna have to wear like a usa do-rag <laughs> <laughs> even better a blue lives matter do-rag i think would fit better here actually what's up with racist people in the punisher logo i don't they know love it. and they, they don't seem it. to understand yeah they it. love it and cops specifically with the punisher logo they love it and the punisher the main thing about him is that he hated cops like, I don't understand <laughs> it. Yeah, they that was the only like, thing about let it. Let his, like, wife and family die. Yeah. yeah. 
all he did was like kill like he killed corrupt cops and like he hated cops like why would you want him to be your guy yeah there's so many fingerprints on these thanks to the way Owen Man handled them that's oh, the, yeah, that's, the, the, that's the thing about sorry. Felix that's the best thing about Felix Gray is you want to touch the lenses mm -hmm. and they're buttery they're, so they're so fucking they're buttery so, they feel yeah. so good yeah, feel way better now. Like silk at the end of a blanket. Mm -hmm. uh, Ken Jack, I th think that's a, a good squad. I don't know if they're going to edge out uh, just Tyler's racist Bostonians. I mean, have I you said uh, best. Gonna I guess I guess I could. I guess I could have just said Bostonians. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, redundant. But <laughs> uh, who, who's up? Uh, KB, you up? Yeah, I'll go. Uh, save Kyle. It'll be better. Yeah, yeah. Let's okay. let's let's have a uh, let's have Owen go. Well, first off. This is, I don't know anything about Irish or European history. This is, the Irish faced the British. I think they still, still hate kinda them. Still kind of are, yeah. In, a, yeah. in a war for the Irish independence. Yes. Right. Okay. It's more like a rebellion yeah. sort of deal. Yeah. There's some, really, yeah. And there was. Is, is Braveheart about that? This was, yeah. <laughs> I looked at it. it was, is it? No, that's Scottish. Scottish. That's Scottish. This Scottish. was like ni this was nineteen, the like the early nineteen hundred. Early nineteen. But this is this okay. is like still kind of going on. Yeah, the IRA is still around. Was it? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Aaron Golbra. Uh, no. What? <laughs> that was shit. Aaron Go Aaron Golbra. <laughs> that was shit. Gaelic. It translates in English to I think something. Ir Ir Irish morning. independence. Uh, I don't even think that's right. Yeah, you probably are right actually. Irish. Irish independence right, uh, translates in Mandarin to Billy's 18th birthday. <laughs> oh, no. Jesus. Oh, no. Um. <laughs> That's really fucking good. I don't think you can fix it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, Irish independence translates in some cultures to Billy Billy's 18th birthday. In certain certain circles, yeah. At certain court proceedings, that has been in the stenographer's notes. Oh my god! In emancipation oh, proceedings. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! All right, so Owen's up, right? Yeah. Um, I also didn't have like an overarching theme. I sort of approach it like the like build your roster and like quarantine yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. So I started off with someone to just uh, pump propaganda. Wait, wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Build your roster in quarantine. What's yeah, that? you remember those? It was like five dollars. You have yeah. fifteen dollars. That was, take, was that took over quarantine. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I think there was I think there was a bar stool one, and everybody in this room was in the one dollar column. We were no, yeah. on that. <laughs> one dollar. We, we, we were yeah. we were fucking impulse purchases at the register. Yeah, yeah. we're cash wrap guys. Yeah, next Nikki, to chocolate we were covered two for one. We were two for one. We, we were two yeah. for one, dude. Yeah, cash wrap would be a good rapper name. We got we got to pitch yeah. that one to Big Wax. But uh, Big, wa fuck, yeah. Big Wax. So that's how I was compartmentalizing this, which is sure. a word I could say. You can say um, that. So yeah, I want someone to pump out propaganda. Nobody does social media better than Doctor Umar Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's, that's for smart. Sure. That's very true. Uh, there's going to be sure. an an initial hurdle getting them on our side, but I think there was slavery in Ireland at some point. I'm sure there right? was. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Uh, if I may tack on to, uh, I kind of piggyback on what you're saying. I am a, I'm going to Florida in a couple of days to meet with this gone in boxer. That's why they were going to try to send me to Ghana, but now mm -hmm. we're meeting in Florida, and. Uh, work whoever our costuming department has bought me a fucking full dashiki Ooh, to oh. to go meet him. and uh so i'm just carrying it in on a hanger next to me <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, sure. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go like meet like a, a boxer and then in, a, in full dashiki no i'm works. sure he would appreciate it a lot more if you were just holding it and then we'll ask him sheepishly if you could change into it while he waits no 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 i think oh. i'm just gonna use this as an accessory i'm just gonna, hold, just gonna it. hold it oh yeah just yeah. explain yeah, to me yeah, how embarrassing so it much would less be for you to yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, look how goofy this thing is. I'm not wearing <laughs> this. Thing I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna fucking so hold dumb. it. Uh, will you um, hold this for me? That's kind of the thing that kind of stinks about uh, dashikis is that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what stinks it's about dashikis? Dashiki. My gears. <laughs> that I can't that wear them. That would be like the best like comedian stand up. <laughs> <laughs> don't grinds my gears about these goddamn dashikis. <laughs> 
<laughs> you guys know when you're wearing a dashiki. <laughs> Where my where my dashiki freaky's at? Yeah, where are they at? <laughs> hands up, hands up. That's my favorite. I love that in a comedic any time any comedy show when they do that. Like, Throw your hands up if you did this. Never don't do that if you're a stand up comedian. Never involve that sort of audi- audience. Uh, loud Luxury tried that at Webster Hall. <laughs> oh, no. like, to loud Luxury, no, like read the room. <laughs> Jesus. I did that at uh, when I, at my screening of the new The Batman. I stood up and screamed really loudly, "Put up your hands!" And everyone didn't appreciate the joke at all. Oh yeah, I would have hated that. Yeah, no one yeah. doesn't like it. <laughs> that actually, a good TikTok. Just saying, it's like uh, looking over my out. shoulder during. I lo- cut out. Hmm. You can't hear Nick. Oh, you hear us? Uh, oh fuck. I don't know. Right, uh, cut them out. Cut them out. Cut them out. Yeah, just in case. Just in case this persists, just like cut. You them guys out. hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just cut, no, yeah. cut them out, just in case. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Can you hear us? Yeah. 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 I hear you. Yeah, definitely. but just in case, like, like, get rid of him, get rid of him. He can sit out for now, and then we can. Yeah, just remove him completely. Uh, I already, I already said my oh, piece. Fuck. I already said my piece. But you're gonna have to do the last manscape, Dad. No, no. All right, get him back on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I refuse. All right, so oh, and I, I, miss I your love those TV guys back. to death. I know you do. Um, yeah. So my first, just someone, uh, just to rally the people, we'll, we'll go with Doctor Umar Johnson. Yeah. Uh, second, uh, I need a general. Do you guys remember the apparently kid Noah Ritter? Oh my God, uh, the red yeah. or like the I, little. Ch- yeah, oh, apparently. apparently. Yeah, yeah, apparently. yeah. So I'm going to go with his grandfather, John Borowski. <laughs> which is available. <laughs> uh, um, Wait, he's still available. Which is the steal available? of the draft. Steal what of the a draft. Honestly. Wow, wow. wow. He, he, he fell. I love how we're treating this like a draft. It's not at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. no. We had infinite options, but I feel yeah. good about getting what I'm I got. I'm surprised there's no overlap. Seriously. Um, <laughs> And then third, we're going to get into soldiers, which will be... Advanced AI sex dolls of Nancy Reagan. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, smart. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's um, smart. I think I'm just going to suck the soul out of the Brits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's the thing one option. Yeah. You're way more tired after a blowjob than you are just actual sex. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's something, it's something, is there some sort of power transfer? I think, you know how like a lot of people think like cats will suck the life out of infants? Yeah. I think it's the same for women and penises. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel, I feel like that's what I always say every, after every time I get a blowjob. I'm like, damn, I'm tired. And she, they always love that. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I'm fucking exhausted. I'm, yo, I'm gassed. Not I, always, just... I, always, I always try to gaslight them into that they're tired. Yeah. Like, wow, you did so good. You have to be just so, so tired. <laughs> <laughs> the, way you, the way you were just like just moving your head for 30 seconds, yep. yeah. you have to be. Uh-huh. You got to be beat. I'm sorry, baby. Go to bed. <laughs> Um, yeah, the, so the idea there was that they just... Nick is would... the fuck boy of guys who hate sex <laughs> from girls. <laughs> He's just like a, a huge, like, you know, like dick Dude. to girls about, like, having them stop fucking him. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they would just literally always be getting head so they couldn't fight. Um, yeah. And then four. You actually think um, about it this way: Henry VIII always beheading, so it all works out here. <laughs> yeah, he's always be he's always mm-hmm. beheading. That joke has legs. Mm-hmm. Um, four. Uh, I'd probably be pretty lonely, so I just said KB. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I was wondering if yeah, I made the cut. Yeah. No, all right, per- per- yes. Yeah. Like yeah. I would just love to have like my brother in the trenches. And I think I could help mm-hmm. from like a mar- like a war standpoint. Yeah, yeah. I think I wouldn't. Be you working. do. Like, you totally have a tactical like, background as well. You watch totally uh, Mad combat, Max. Combat Mad Max when like the guys in the guitar truck or whatever. That's oh like, yeah. KB blasting out emo girl the entire time. <laughs> I've never <laughs> plowing through the streets of London. And so many of your just like tendencies are made for like war mode. I feel like you got in that yeah. groove with like the well, bison KB. and stuff, and like mm-hmm. you like getting. Thank you. Yeah. In that, so that'd be great. Well, you you you've always idolized the War Boys from Mad Max. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I kind of have. I'm, I'm a cemetery fan, but no one knows what that means. What's I, I, I want to know what it means now. Cemetery and Ghost Mountain. No, I'm not even using this as a put on. <laughs> what is it? What is it? It's a rap duo. A, oh, it's a it's a human. 
Two humans. No, but then, yeah. Semi-terry. Is is semi is semi Terry like a, a guy named Terry that lost his legs? No, <laughs> semi Terry. He wouldn't laugh at that either. No. <laughs> he's all biz- he's all business with his bar. He's a war boy, not a you know. Uh, is he a war boy? He's a war. Okay. Boy. Gotcha. And then uh, I was just with my fifth. I just wanted to like make it nice for me and KB. Um, so I'll have Ed Sheeran's character from Game of Thrones mm. just sort of singing to us. Yeah, and that's, <laughs> wait, and that's wait, just, I didn't, he was in that's Game gonna, of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, he had a cameo in Game of Thrones was where he, he was just like, in the show. Singing, singing yes, in he, was he was singing in the show. They didn't, yeah. they didn't put any. You guys it. and you guys still it weren't did, over the show at that point. You're still. Like, I was oh, you were still show. holding out hope. That was the last season, maybe so second Ed last Sheeran season. So Ed Sheeran has had a cameo in Game of Thrones. So did Chris. And people were like, the writers series. aren't get, aren't letting and anything like, change. As Ed Sheeran, okay, yeah. yeah you know, Nothing Chris, Chris has... Martin from Coldplay was in Game of Thrones too. Uh, yeah, but yeah. he's not yeah. as recognizable as. Oh yeah, he's I don't not know as recognizable. Looks like because like Game of Thrones has like a dwarf with no nose and like guys with burnt faces, and then you see Ed Sheeran, and you're like, oh, that guy's ugly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but, like, the hound that like that, that like broke face. that like broke immersion. But you could also tell like, oh, that guy's ugly from the 21st century. Yeah, he wasn't old mm-hmm. ugly. He was new ugly. He's like, new. 21st neo century ugly. ugly is, yeah, he's neo ugly. <laughs> neo ugly. <laughs> I like how you say like 21st century ugly as if like Game of Thrones is a real century that happened somewhere. But I get, yeah, I get, you're I get, right. I get your meaning. Yeah. I can't believe you didn't notice oh, yeah. him. He was like just him singing at a campfire. Yeah, it's not that uh, I didn't notice him. I, did, I would have noticed Ed Sheeran. He was singing immediately. to Arya. I didn't watch. He it. didn't watch. Yeah. yeah. Didn't he get? Did he get killed? Did, did he get killed? I don't think so. I think they just got moved on from him. Okay. At least I think so. All right. So that's full team. Yeah, that's the crew. Doctor Lamar Johnson, good. AI sex bots of Nancy Reagan. Uh, Noah Ritter's grandfather, John Borowski, KB, mm-hmm. Game of Thrones, Ed Sheeran. No, and those, yeah, and those guys kind of go hand in hand together. It is a weird question. Is Ed Sheeran English or is he like Scottish? He's, uh, he just became one day. Yeah. Uh, no, he definitely, yeah, he definitely he's got spawned. like the, that redhead, you know, uh, West Yorkshire. That's about as British as you can get. Never mind. I, I, I think he's a mutated queen, your, uh, queen Corgi. <laughs> he's, <laughs> uh, he, he could be a corgi. Absolutely. I think Welsh like a canary corgi. dropped him off at a cafe in Dublin when he was 22 <laughs> years old. Yeah. I don't remember yeah. anything before. I don't know. What the fuck is his associated axe? Benny, Benny Blanco? Yellow Wolf? All right, whatever. All right, go on, Move on. Uh, uh, KB. My team. Oh, hold on. Before you do, uh, Kyle, you want to talk about Manscaped? Well, I've been using it. Yeah, what have you been using? I've been using the Lawmower 4.0. Uh, uh, no, nope, nope. They're they're very specific in the copy. This is not an ad. We weren't good enough to have the. Ad. We weren't. We're not big enough to have an ad for the Lawnmower 4.0. This is for the wet collection, Kyle. <laughs> they, well, so who gives up? Like they it would still help their fucking product if I talk no, about the Lawnmower 4.0. Says, no, they do not. It's so first I can't. Line. Okay, we didn't, do not talk okay. about the Lawnmower. We didn't start 4.0. the ad yet. I was just mentioning that I use the Lawnmower oh, yeah. 4.0. Is that is that uh, taboo? It's t- it's not taboo at God all. God forbid. No. Jeez. No. Um, I think it's kosher. No offense, but Mark Wahlberg. This this ad, <laughs> this ad is we're talking about the Manscaped Wet Collection. The you know, the the the, the lather you can lather lather yourself on the cologne infused ultra premium body wash with aloe vera and sea salt to keep your skin feeling clean and moisturized all day. That's what I'm talking about. The hair care two in one shampoo. Mm. You y- know what I mean. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Do you guys have tattoos or dry skin or both? Uh, mm-hmm. Definitely one. Yeah. Let's hit your skin with the hydrating body moisturizer spray. I've been using that on my mm. my body mods. You know, my ca- this canvas of mine. Oh, and, you, uh, you hung out with Gage oh, Machine God. recently? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. G- Google Gage Machine. We're not making him up. He's a real human. You can find him in like uh, some sort of registry. Yeah. Um, you guys can get 20% off plus free shipping with code ANUS. At manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with code ANUS. And good on them for letting us use promo code ANUS. Everybody else is powering and saying, use story. Mm-hmm. It's an extra letter. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so there's uh, that's that's ANUS erasure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, go ahead, Kyle, with your crew. Okay. Look on my phone. Eringo Bra translates in English to Ireland. In Irish, Indep- Irish independence translates in Mandarin to Billie Eilish's 18th. Okay, I got that. Yeah. The roster. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so mine is theme. Mine is, mine is holiday how is, theme. How is KB so good off the cuff? And by you doing that, we just we just lost our improv subcategory. So thanks for that, brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh mine is holiday themed uh, oh. okay so <laughs> wait 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 what was that body motion what holiday was that was the Weird. holiday theme was, the... was that, the, that was the whole month of june yeah, you just did exactly. uh, <laughs> yeah. no 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 um holiday looking theme. like a group of lions over there mm -hmm. so the first me member of my squad <laughs> 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 The first member of my squad, well, it's St. Patrick's Day, brother. So okay. I'd be damned if it ain't Patrick's gay brother, Jackson Mahomes, oh. as the dr <laughs> the drummer boy role. Um, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Jackson Mahomes. They probably um, think he's cool. <laughs> And England. no, they would not. <laughs> they would not. He, no, but they're very homophobic. He would oh, be true, the joke, yeah. but strictly from an... I'm just like I, like thinking tactical here, from an uh, intimidation standpoint. He is six foot six. That's true. Black, and <laughs> they don't, they imagine if a 1910s like British general scared. like saw a six foot six black kid shaking his ass to a Kesha ballad. <laughs> like they would, <laughs> they would combust like a hay pile. Like, they, <laughs> like that was just collapsing. Like they would tears. not know what to, they would. Yeah, it would be game. It would be a rap. Uh. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh uh, yeah, what else did I have? Be taking on the drummer bowl. Um, Patrick or Jackson Mahomes is a genetic anomaly. He has this. <laughs> he has the same genes as NFL stars and Jeffrey stars. Um, <laughs> he uh, <laughs> like a. Uh, like a, a women's cut. I follow uh, you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's the same. Genius. Imagine if Jackson Mahomes was a prisoner of war in a British camp. Um, they would torture him, and he would get a boner. Uh, <laughs> and then they would, yeah. they would yeah. ask him, "Are you Randy Jackson?" <laughs> and he would say, uh, "That's going to be a no from me, dog." Uh, <laughs> But they wouldn't believe him because he would still be hard while they were whipping him and torturing him in the war camps. Uh, yeah. The chiefs. <laughs> this isn't holiday themed at all. Uh, Randy Jackson is something. And how about this guy? He's always on. He's always on the fields during his brother's games, doing dances, and they're obnoxious. The Chiefs giving him sideline passes is the worst thing KC has ever done to a family member. <laughs> oh, are you, are, are you doing? Are you doing a roast? He right is. Now? He's so. Uh, <laughs> this guy is so obnoxious. <laughs> him dancing and doing TikToks is worse than a woman who killed her baby. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which brings me to my second team member. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is um, speaking of never step stepping on a football field again <laughs> due to your poor decisions, uh, the next member of my crew is Patrick Tillman. Um, the late oh, Patrick no. Tillman, uh, he is the ultimate glue guy. He'd literally take a bullet for his teammates and from his teammates. Um, I'm talking about friendly fire, which he wouldn't have to worry about if he was fighting for Irish independence because the only friendly fire in Ireland is girls' vaginas. And pussy hair. <laughs> um, but we all know Pat Tillman's been a sucker for Bush since 9 11. <laughs> uh, uh, the, uh, Pat, why are you And how. And why. And you might think he was a football star making millions, maybe. Uh, why would he leave that for next to no pay? Uh, that's the owner of the Arizona Cardinals, Bill Billwell. 
Um, <laughs> he was a frugal motherfucker, I'll tell you that much. Uh, maybe if he would have paid his cards right, Pat Tillman would still be alive right now. He wasn't offering Mr. Tillman enough money to be on the team. So he went to the U.S. Army. Uh, you can't deny his athleticism. <laughs> So, <laughs> but I know you're thinking he wasn't that great of an athlete. He was only the 260 something pick of the NFL draft. So yeah, his career got off to a rocky start, but it also ended. It also, his, his, it was a rocky start to his career, but uh, it was an Iraqi end to it as well, <laughs> because he died in Iraq, uh, on the soils of Iraq, uh, by his own his own this fellow is, soldier, yeah. um, t- Patrick Tillman. Pat Tillman. Oh, oh, oh. Pat Tillman. You can't, uh, you can't roast Patrick Tillman. <laughs> the original roast of Tillman was in 2004. The um, roast of Patrick Tillman. <laughs> ladies, ladies and gentlemen, Pat Tillman, uh, he didn't have the best of luck with bullets. Um, but conversely, the next member of my crew, well, folks, some might say he's the number one with a bullet, and that's obviously Fallout Boy frontman Patrick Stump. Um, Patrick Stump. Um, oh, God damn, Kyle. Yeah, pa- Patrick. This is when I stopped thinking of jokes, but Patrick Stump, uh, he, uh, he might be like the only... R- successful and incredible rock star that I think I could like steal a girl from. <laughs> <laughs> he he just looks whack. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I looked at yeah. his Wikipedia page and his birth name was Patrick Stumpf. Stump. And he, uh, <laughs> which isn't a lead up to a joke. I just thought that was interesting. That well, he, yeah, he changed his name, but he didn't change it away from Stump. It was like, pa- he went from I mean, Patrick Stump. He went to anything Stump. else. He changed it anyway. Patrick Stump. Stump is like a horrible. Stump last sounds name. terrible. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Stump's not particularly oh good either. I mean, mm-hmm. he could have, if he cha- was changing his name anyway, why didn't he make it something yeah. else? I don't know what it would be, though. He dropped the H like he started Suboxin. Uh, <laughs> so that's Pat, oh. Patrick Stump. Um, I, would just want, I would just want to hang out with Patrick Stump. Yeah, yeah that would rule. Because like every girl knows Sugar We're Going Down, and they're going to build it out. Mm-hmm. And he's the number one bullet. He's the number one with the bullet. If there was any nukes, he'd be the best Fallout boy you could possibly want. That's exactly right. Mm-hmm. It all works out, uh, I think. Was it Fallout so Boy that had the video with the the guy dressed like a deer getting hit by? Yeah, that that was uh, that was Sugar. We're going, yeah, down, was sugar we're going down, right? Down, yeah. And but like, I wait, watch the video. That that video was weird because it was like it was a boy with antlers who like liked this oh, girl. Yeah, I have yeah. watched it. And the dad wouldn't let the boy date the girl because he had antlers. Yeah, which makes. But then sense. at the end of the video, at the end of the video, the dad gets hit by a car, and you see that he has deer legs, and so that's just like a video about incest. Yeah, kind of. So like right? that, yeah, that, that like that, 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 yeah, kind of. At least a little. It bit. is like, I re- I was on his Wikipedia page, and they said one of the f- tidbits was Stump lost sixty five pounds when Fall Out Boy went on hiatus, due in part to. Asthma and pre-diabetes, <laughs> Interesting. with which he was diagnosed. Okay, <laughs> Patrick, are you hungry? Nah, I've been short of breath all day. <laughs> yeah, I can't eat. Like just a, wheezing yeah. all the time. Dude, dude, finally got a diet inhaler. <laughs> Should join Weezer, actually. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. uh, oh my god. God, is right. that uh, that was amazing? You, you need another team member, uh, don't you? Aren't you? Um. Yeah, a lot of people forget like who who which which a celebrity <laughs> is synonymous with being a big tough strong uh terminator. Arnold, Arnold, Schwarzenegger. Yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm glad you guys all knew exactly what I was saying. Yeah. Without even having to say. 
Arnold Schwar- he has a he has a son. He does. Yeah. He has a 28-year-old son. Do you guys know who it is? Patrick, Patrick Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Okay, Patrick Schwarzenegger. I didn't know anything about the son. He has two. He has the other one too, right? Yeah, I I don't Like did you guys know about this guy? <laughs> he doesn't no. seem like he'd be the son of Arnold Schwarzenegger. He kind of looks like uh I don't know, dumpy. <laughs> <laughs> He looks like he looks like a little bitch, kind of. Yeah, agreed. But he has Arnold's jeans. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I, I'm done with the, that act. But um, yeah. Patrick Wait. Schwarzenegger like mixing in tums with no, I, don't, chips, I just did going, not know tumming, Patrick Schwarzenegger. Tumming. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he? Did he date Taylor Swift? He dated Miley Cyrus. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've never heard of this guy. Did you ever see his, he's, his son? Is it he's a son? much worse version of Chet Hanks. He was like a USC dropout. He, he was in Lambda Chi. He tried to be an actor. He was in Bench Warmers, Warmers? as a kid. That failed. He modeled for Ralph Lauren. Hmm. Did you ever see his other son, though? The, uh, the illegitimate kid? Ladies and gentlemen, this man, uh, in contrast to his father, never probably never even touched a weight. This guy is a little, is a little twig. Oh, I thought he was gonna be fat. <laughs> hey, hey, what's, what's... His father must have been so disappointed. <laughs> and you know, Arnold was addicted to the the weight room. His hands were always calloused. Um, he probably didn't respect his son, who had the sm- smoothest, daintiest hands in the world. Never even touched a weight. He, he probably had him d- carry his groceries for him and. <laughs> you you have the cadence of the Joker right him. now. He's, he's no, probably, it's, it's like normal. He probably right had now. to. He's probably. He probably made his son jack him off because <laughs> his hands were too calloused and his son hands were too smooth. Ladies and gentlemen, his son was the Arnold Palmer. Uh, <laughs> he did all the the hand tasks for his father, his calloused hands father. That's uh. the <laughs> um, <laughs> You're so dumb. What else? <laughs> mm. So wait, why do you? Oh, want him Patrick fighting? Horton! You- what a what a bloodline this man comes from. We all know about his father, the Terminator, the Kindergarten Cop. Um, what about his mother, Maria Shriver? Maria yeah. Shriver, and you know who she's related to? The Kennedys. The Kennedys. So he has presidential <laughs> genes, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen. Why wouldn't you want him on the front lines in your school? <laughs> right. Yeah, fair, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. That's right. God damn. Makes you think. He is funny though. I would like to know more about him. You think he even like what gets it? a pat like a media pass for the Arnold Classic? <laughs> like uh, if, imagine if he showed up, like he would get kicked out. Too skinny. <laughs> too skinny. He'd kick that he'd go to Bullwinkles. <laughs> get a blow job from a sophomore from Hilliard Darby. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh, that's, a, that's a niche one yeah ladies and gentlemen speaking of sloppy head uh oh my he, God, this man was, was related to jfk he was related to <laughs> jfk uh, oh he was a uh, the, the great nephew of john f kennedy <laughs> what a clinic mm. what a clinic <laughs> gentlemen that's patrick schwarzenegger the fourth member of my my patrick's <laughs> I don't have a (laughs) fit. That's fine. (laughs) I had like notes that said Patrice O'Neill sounds like he should be Irish, but he's in fact not. (laughs) Dude, uh, that was a master class. That was was unbelievable. Uh, I was was trying to put. I was trying to put together an automatopoeia team, and all I had was Bam Margera and Chief Wahoo. <laughs> <laughs> but I think those two going in. Yeah. Like a Bam and Chief Wahoo. <laughs> <laughs> Chief Wahoo needs brought back. But but then I was like, Wahoo is, I don't think that's an automatopoeia. I think it is. No, yes, it is. I would say Wahoo. it is. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, that is, that. that's one of the onomatopoeias, along, <laughs> sure. along with Bam. I almost picked a Mark David Chapman. 
beloved oh, killer yeah. of Brits. You could put him in like a Suicide Squad situation. Arguably the most experienced at killing British. My- <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My God. So I was going, uh, I was thinking of uh, diseases that were good against the British, and I was going to do the bubonic plague, mm-hmm. but it was just going to be me with titties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <wait>. Bo- <laughs> <Bubonic. laughs> just me with huge jugs Massive. going in there <laughs> oh my god oh man so kyle you you won that that was you just wrote a roast that was incredible. We gotta do a roast. A roast. I'd rather do a roast. That was like a normal. Yeah, roast. That's dude, your I calling. Hate, I, I hate Irish and British people so much. I was mm-hmm. just couldn't have possibly have. You know what like, I'm surprised you didn't any- pick? And there, I wrote this down because I was like, I think Nick's gonna pick it, so I'm just gonna put it in my back. Or, or KB's gonna pick it. I'm gonna put it in my back pocket. I was gonna say you need a human shield to defend yourself from any British attack, someone that's like near and dear to their hearts, right? Yeah. And yeah. so you take the staple of the British breakfast, Stephen Anthony Lawrence and brown face. <laughs> brown beans. <laughs> brown beans. <laughs> I was shocked you didn't pick like, that. Fuck. I was trying to bring that back. I was trying to go with pinto beans somehow, go with horses. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, that was unbelievable. That was a master class right there. That was that was unbelievable. That was that's so good. That was the funniest thing I've ever heard. Oh, that's really funny. Holy shit. Kyle, you you roasted oh. Patrick Tillman. <laughs> yeah. That's like a really I long roast. Which I too. like that's like the woke move, which I don't didn't want to do, but like this pat like the 9-11 20th anniversary, like people or whenever his death anniversary is, like the wokes on Twitter will be like, yeah. Let's not. What we're not going to do uh, is I, hype up this man who, uh, who yeah. didn't do anything heroic. I, I wasn't allowed to be Patrick Tillman in my Living Legends project. In really, it was grade. offensive. Yeah. Be, they said it was border, like it was too controversial, too edgy. I hate that. Like, sw- uh. so I went with Jim Abbott. And I had, oh, my, just I had my arm in my sleeve. Oh, all he's day. The, oh yeah, that's yeah. the guy with the yeah, yeah. Yeah, See, but yeah you do a good Pat. impression of him. Imagine being his. Fa- <laughs> 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 no, I feel bad. Like Pat Tim, he's a legitimate hero. Like a look at what he did. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Imagine like his family, like seeing people like talk shit on him. I'm trying to think of. There's got to be another airstrike. Pun. Not me, but it was an airstrike that killed Tillman, right? Uh, I think it was gunfire. I think uh, it was. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not not as easy to make puns about, or maybe it uh, is. I don't know. I think Kyle just did it for ten minutes. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> ten straight minutes of friendly fire jokes. <laughs> oh man, anything else you guys want to add? Fuck man, it's hard to follow that up. Wait, where do you? Are you going to where? Miami? Yeah. Uh, Fort tomorrow? Lauderdale. Tomorrow. Fort Lauderdale. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going um Sunday. Tell Kyle you miss him. Suck. I do miss him like crazy. I've been texting him. I know. <laughs> I get it. It's just like I don't know. No, it does suck. It actually, but I'm yeah, glad. I, I know. It just seems. Like I'm glad. Like, I, I'm glad. It seems I'm like you're happier Miami. than ever. It seems like you're like no, this I'm is not. Like the happiest I've ever seen you. What the fuck? Up. <laughs> I was just miserable in the office. That's fair. You got. I like how you have the the yeah, grown up version of what every kid has with the map behind your room or behind you. That's, this actually isn't my room. Uh, it looks room. like a basement. Yeah, this is the grandma suite. You guys ah, never. Ah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Y- y- wait, Yins don't have a grandma suite? <laughs> 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 God, Kyle, I know you don't. Yeah, my grandma's I, dead. Y- yeah, I have a grandma suite. <laughs> it's um, called folks. peppermint. It's a, it's a Necco wafer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That was an unbelievable was... delivery. Oh, I just, I, I I just told Norm McDonald's you were, uh, yeah. his cadence when he did like the fake one. Mm-hmm. It worked perfectly. Rest it in peace to, to Norm. Ripped me uh, that was that inspired me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, all right. That was uh, a new untold story. Thank you, Ken Jack. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, Owen. Uh, and for me and KB, uh, I'm trying to copy what Jeff does at the end because it sounds good. It does. For me it and does. for for me and KB. Uh, for, uh, from him, it sounds good. I yeah, it sounds way better. For Kyle. Peter For Kyle and I'm I'm Nick A. Terrainy. Yeah. Uh, this is a new untold story. <laughs> All right. Uh, you make it sound like, like an Arab name or something. Like I'm Nick A. Terrainy. Like, Nick like Kyle. Well, you got to be careful with it. Yeah, yeah. it's close. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was uh, in- incredible. That was his headphones off. But that was in- Kyle. That was incredible. That was really really good. Oh, no, baby. <laughs>